Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Comic-Con 2019. You guys know Andy from Sideshow Collectibles. Andy, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I've got a very deep voice already, <laughs> so I apologize in advance. But... Well, hopefully we caught you before you lost your voice completely <laughs> because you've been walking around your massive booth as always, talking about and sharing these amazing premium format figures, these quarter scale, large scale statues. How many did you guys bring this year? We have, this is our largest booth ever. Um, we have over 300 products. Um, at, le at least the 200 of them, I would say, were exclusive first reveals at the show this year. That's incredible. Now, this video, we're talking about the premium format stuff. This is, every year, you guys, with the artistic design, with the poses, I'm always impressed. Uh, this is a perfect example. Revisiting some of the classics mm -hmm. designs. This is Iron Man Mark Seven from the first Avengers film. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the statue. This is the first reveal of this piece. This is an early prototype. Uh, we wanted to give the fans the very first look at something we've been working on. I'll be completely honest with you. I saw this piece first painted in a dark room when they lit it up, and I thought it was a hologram. I didn't even realize that it was a statue myself, and I've been nerding out about this piece ever since. <laughs> like it, It's legit my favorite thing at the show. Um, yeah, first reveal, a brand new statue. We don't have a price point yet or anything. We just wanted to show you guys first something that we've been secretly working on. Well, I think it's a great example of the type of art design you guys are going with, the scale, because one, the pose, right? You have Iron Man in flight where you're cleverly hiding the armature through his leg. It's in a, like, he looks off balance because he's flying, but of course, it's all in that smoke. And then the illumination. Right, you have illumination eyes, of course, with the arc reactor, but also with the rocket there. That's all really cool translucent lighting. That's so neat. Yeah, we've been working a lot on the internal structuring. Uh, as you saw last year as well with Rogue, we're really trying to push the engineering to do a lot more dramatic stuff with the, um, the balance points on the statues. Mm. Um, but we're also working with some fantastic mixed, mixed media now. Uh, using these uh, awesome like semi-translucent resins, airbrushing them to get the effects we want, and then underlighting them to get that that solid glow. Um, yeah, it's been it's been really fun playing with materials as well as poses, and and we're pushing the boundaries a lot more. Something that's also interesting is that even at this scale, there's a range of sizes. Like some of the more human-looking characters, yes, at quarter scale look great, but then you have larger than life, like the Hulk or the Juggernaut, and even at premium format scale. They look massive, almost like legendary scale. Tell me some of the new pieces you have in that size. Yeah, we have um, we have Juggernaut here, which is, is hilarious to me. His hands are bigger than mine, and it's, it's a quarter scale statue. Um, he, he's probably the biggest piece I've seen in a long time. Uh, part of our ongoing um, Danger Room X-Mansion line. So all these pieces have a very similar base design, so you can set up a battle mm. in the Danger Room. He's in the X-Mansion, bursting through into the Danger Room. You can see all the debris coming through. Uh, and he, he sits perfectly alongside uh, our new Colossus, um, Rogue, our brand new Gambit. They all look like they're part of the same like battle scene. Yeah. Um, we also have a, a Gladiator Hulk, which is just, just monstrously huge, like unbelievably big. So I can't wait to show you. He's fully armored. He is, has incredible creature base. So there's just as much effort put into the design of a creature that he's fighting or stepping on as there is on the Hulk himself. Absolutely, yeah, we, um, I, I had the pleasure of watching a, um, our painter Casey Love paint that particular piece. His, his background is in horror and fantasy painting, um, so he, he really went all out on the creature design on that one. Uh, he's the same guy who did our Thanos piece along with a couple of our artists, so it, it's cool watching us um, kind of make the dream team for each statue. We try and uh, pick the perfect people for the perfect project. Um, and yeah, he, he's a super dynamic piece. I think you're going to dig him. You know, when we chat with a lot of people who design collectibles, sometimes they get references or digital files from the studios. Mm -hmm. You guys have your own in-house team of artists and they digitally sculpt, but it's their own creative take, right? It's, you guys are very proud of the specific artist take on a certain character. Absolutely, and we're also really fortunate to work with Legacy. So um, every now and then we'll, we'll work with them on key pieces as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's an interesting mix. We, we've been very fortunate with the studios giving us permission to do our, our artistic interpretation of characters, especially comic book characters. But then when we get to do movies, we get to work with Legacy and awesome people like that and use their rare reference and their skill sets as well to do the most uh, accurate for the movie pieces. Well, something that's a little more stylized, definitely more artist-driven, is this new line of tiny, unruly characters you guys are doing. Tell me about these vinyl toys. You guys are moving into the designer toy scene? That's right, yeah, designer vinyl. It's um, it's something we love. Um, all of our staff go to like designer con every year. Yeah. We're big nerds for that. And we had a whole slew of artists who we just really admire, but they don't necessarily fit for something like this. 
so it, it, it made sense. Eventually, we're like, we have a whole portfolio of artists who we adore. What can we do with them? You know, so uh, we're working into designer vinyl, um, limited edition art, art statues and miniature toys, um, working not only with original creations, but taking artists who do like uh, graffiti and street art and, and things like that and getting them to play with licensed characters. So they're getting to work in, in the world of Marvel now and things like that. Um, definitely a passion project. Everyone involved, it's, it's kind of like they're working with people they admire and adore. And then taking this really awesome, quirky and, and unruly type artwork and making it 3D. Um, some of the really crazy stuff like Tracy Tabera's pieces, which is like ultra force perspective, really dramatic. Figuring out how to make that as a 3D sculpture is a challenge, but I think the finished results are pretty darn cool. And not just comic characters, but also the people who make the, the creatures. You have Guillermo yeah, yeah. in a Shogren piece. I love his mm. art and his his kind of 2D art turned to 3D is really neat to finally be able to own. Yeah, it's like you get your very own uh, Del Toro fertility idol. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. And we also have, um, we have our first uh, kind of uh, celebrity-led piece before we worked on the Del Toro one is with Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy. Um, you know, he's a good friend of ours, a big collector. I don't know if you guys know that, but he's a big comic book collector, a big statue collector, um, longtime friend. So it was really fun to work with him on a piece and, uh, and make a statue of a friend is kind of cool. And he's actually at the show here today. He's going to be coming in. Uh, the very first pieces are going to be for sale and uh, he'll be signing them. A couple years ago, you guys uh, had the R2 line. You guys seeded these unpainted models. Any plans for that kind of, those kind of collaborations? Let artists kind of do their takes on, on your models in the future? Maybe, maybe. Watch this space. Yeah, we've got some fun things planned. And um, this is Unruly. We've come pretty hardcore. We've got a lot of products here already. But I, uh, trust me, that's the very tip of the iceberg. Like, it's, it's just going to blow up. We're going to show people more of the amazing 200 new pieces, mm -hmm. the premium format figures here. There, there's so much here in this massive booth. It's going to go beyond the scope of this video. So we're going to check back in and then take a look at the Hot Toys next.